the UN Human Rights Chief says the number of death sentences handed down after the outbreak of civil unrest in Iran amounts to state-sanctioned killing. Joining me now live is Director of Iranian Studies at Stanford University, uh, Dr Abbas Malani. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us. What is the Iranian regime's aim here by sentencing more and more people to death? I think their aim is very simple. This is a regime that can only survive by terror and by instilling fear in people. And the continuing uh, demonstrations have shown that people's fears have dissipated. And the brutality against students, against teachers, against faculty at the university, against women, against prisoners, these uh, executions, uh, over 20,000 people arrested, uh, over 500 killed show to me a regime that is frightened and thinks the only way it can survive is by mayhem and by reinstalling that fear. I don't think it'll succeed, but I think that's what their strategy is. Have you been surprised by the pushback from Iranians? We have seen these widespread protests that began in September. Have you been surprised? I, I haven't been surprised because if you really look at the Iranian history over the last few years even, uh, people have defiantly, bravely uh, insisted on standing up to this regime. Only two years ago, uh, over a, a thousand people were killed by this regime. At that time, 11,000 were put in prison. These haven't stopped people. Women have been fighting this regime, have been fighting this apartheid for almost 42 years. Now, fortunately, the international community is paying more attention. Social media is allowing people to make these instances of heroism known. And fortunately, the international community, including your government, is showing much more attention, is paying much more attention to these brutalities and letting the Iranian regime know that the world is watching and it will not stand by and allow this kind of a criminality by a state. Yeah, you mentioned that international pushback. Uh, the executions have been condemned by uh, the British Foreign Minister, the US. How are powerful nations likely to respond if these executions continue? Well, my guess is that they will push further. My hope is that they will th throw away, throw out these ambassadors who are de facto justifiers of this criminality. They will increase sanctions on the regime. They will increase sanctions of Mr. Khamenei. They will seize assets of Mr. Khamenei and the, the likes and let them know that the Iranian people aren't alone and that no regime, no regime can do this to its people. This is just pure brutality. 20,000 people in prison simply for peaceful demonstrations. These four people that they have executed are shameful. These people are uh, accused of simple, peaceful demonstration. In one case, the person was executed. The, his hand was broken before they executed him because he had a tattoo they didn't like, because he had stopped the traffic in one street. These, uh, including the five year that they have given to uh, Ms. Faizeh Hashemi, which has been very defiant in defending uh, the rights of people, are all, I think, futile efforts to recreate a reign of terror and hopefully the international community will not allow it to uh, hold. Yeah, it's been extraordinary scenes. Dr Abbas Malani, thank you so much for joining us this morning.